Hey what's up YouTube, my name is Tyler Reckart and welcome back to another screencast tutorial. Now I know I promised in my last tutorial that we would be doing a uh, Photoshop version of the Cinema 4D Abstract Shape tutorial uh, in this tutorial, but um, some things have gotten delayed. That tutorial should be coming soon, but I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial with another 3D effect, but this time we will be using Adobe Photoshop. I know Adobe Photoshop isn't popular for its 3D effects and I know not a lot of people actually know about 3D features in Adobe Photoshop so that's what we are going to be discuss discussing today and I'm just going to show you how to create a simple wireframe because um, I know the wireframes have been popular lately but they've all been either uh, 3D Studio Max or Cinema 4D a simple wireframe animation of a ring that uh, expands from itself now I know this isn't Pro or anything like that. Um, I'm not trying to create a an amazing, fantastic intro animation. I'm just trying to show you guys some features that you may not know about. So uh, let me stop talking and show you what we'll be creating today. So if I just hit play. So that is a very basic uh, animation of a 3D ring. So this is what we will be creating today. It is a actual 3D model um, completely edi editable in Photoshop which is one of the nice things about it. Um, so let's create a new, a new canvas. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a 1280 by 720 with a resolution of 72 alright uh, just leave the background white so what we're gonna do is um, we're just gonna go ahead and create a new layer and what we're gonna go is over into our 3d menu and uh, new shape from layer now there's a lot we can create we can create cones cubes uh, wraps of the uh, actual background cylinders donuts hats pyramids rings soda cans spheres uh, panoramas and wine bottles I'll just show you what the donut is real quick um, very simple it's a 3d donut um, it's probably not a good example of some of the um, 3d's so here's a, a better example it is a wine bottle that is 100 percent rotatable uh, scalable 3d animation within Photoshop so um, alright so let's just undo all that just get it back alright so there's a, our donut again so we're just going to uh, grab a ring so ring and as you can see it doesn't come out as a wireframe it comes out as a ring so um, what we're gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and scale our ring up um, just to give it a uh, just kind of a, a better position on our canvas um, that looks good alright so in order to get our wireframe we're just gonna go to window uh, 3d to view our 3d panel and I'm just going to bring this out here and give this a little bit of a size up never mind um, so in order to get the wireframe you see uh, render settings and right now they're at custom you can just uh, take the menu uh, and hit wireframe and as you can see you get this wireframe image um, but if you're in another version of Photoshop and you don't have the slider menu say Photoshop CS4 because these features we're in CS4, all you need to do is hit edit and unclick the solid shape and just click wireframe. Now, there is a lot you can do. You can do a regular wireframe, a point wireframe, sorry, um, and let's leave these two down here to something else. So we're just going to hit regular wireframe. And you can actually change the color of your wireframe to uh, suit your needs, but we're just going to stick with black for right now just hit OK. Now in order to um, well as you can see our lines on our ring are kind of rigid 
And what we can do is go to quality ray traced final because it's automatically set to draft. And that smoothed our lines up a little, but it didn't smooth them up a ton. Uh, you can go into a lot more settings and smooth them up more later. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to uh, lower the opacity to about 40% just to give it a better look with our canvas. Uh, 41% is what we're going to do. And in order to do the 3D animation, we're just going to hit cross section. And as you can see, we get this nasty plane. So we're just going to go ahead and uncheck that. And actually, I'm going to rotate um, the ring so that it uh, branches out from the other side. So let me put the offset up on that so that we have our full ring. So I can get a nice view of what we're, what's going on. Um, so, so what we're going to do in order to make a f animation of our ring is we're going to go to window and animation and that brings up this dialog right here so what we're going to do is oh, expand our layers and go to where it says 3D cross section um, and we're going to create a keyframe but have the offset at about negative 100 so that there's nothing there and I'm actually and all we're going to do is uh, transfer it up and make another keyframe I'm going to do this at around 3 seconds so I'm just going to put this at 100 and as you can see it just gives us a simple animation and it actually comes out from the bottom right there so what I'm gonna do now is um, kind of give give it a little bit more angle because as you can see these right here are very flat so we're just going to do the tilt A and the tilt B in order to Kind of give them a little bit more of an angle and just mess, mess with the settings. Uh, actually, put that on the x axis. Um, and if we do that, oops, don't want to have that done. I delete that keyframe right there. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, so we're just going to have to re keyframe all that. Sorry. Um, actually, no, we don't. Delete keyframe. All right, so if we just go ahead and play our animation we get something that looks like this. And it's a very basic ring animation. And if we move our keyframes up, that will change the speed of our animation. So if we do that, hit play, a lot faster. And this will actually get, um, a lot better if we render it out. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see any more 3D tutorials within Photoshop, uh, please leave a comment below. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on a feature not a lot of people knew was there. All right, so thanks, guys. Please, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. And I hope you like this wireframe tutorial. I know there's been a lot out there, uh, a few good ones and uh, a few bad ones. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please write, comment, subscribe.